What's up KDVAS and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a quick tutorial where I show you guys how I change the fit of a pair of trousers around the crouch. This was an issue I faced in my last tutorial. I found that this part was a bit too tight and was making this weird shape that I didn't like. If you haven't seen that video already, make sure to go check it out. It was a jumpsuit tutorial and I had some challenges with the fit of my trouser around the crouch. And you guys actually left a very, very good recommendation on how to solve that issue. So we're going to be exploring that in this video today. The aim is just to improve the fit. It's not going to come out perfect, but we aim to be better. So if you're ready to see how that works, make sure to keep on watching, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and let's get straight in. Now I made a copy of the pattern that I used for my jumpsuit, I just traced off to about the knee point and we're going to be making some changes around the crouch area on the front and on the back because I found that that was where the challenge or the issues came from. So I'm going to start off with the front pattern. I just have it laid out here and I'm going to grab some extra pattern paper and layer that underneath so that gives me a good canvas to you know make my changes and is visible and clear for me and for you guys to see as well. So one that is layered down, we're just going to tape it in place and then I'm going to be extending the crouch by half an inch. I say doing this would add more room around that part of the trouser and then I'm also going to shape in this curve like so so it just looks and fits more naturally on the body and then I'm going to be drawing the extended point back onto the inseam leg this would add a little bit of room around the crouch and around the leg I say be careful not to have a very sharp point or a curve that is more square you want to have it more like a natural curve especially around that crouch so once i have that done for the front i'm going to repeat the same thing for the back trouser pattern so this is what the front is looking like so far so good the goal with this adjustment is to reduce the tightness around the crouch and make it easy to walk around and more comfortable to sit and stand in the trouser and i'm going to repeat the same changes on the back pattern i have the copy traced off here and then i'm going to grab some pattern paper and layer that underneath now the back i found that that shape was Mm -mm, it was a no no i'm going to go back in and make that shape because here is looking more like a squarey shape rather than a nice you know natural curve which i'm drawing in here and then i'm going to be extending it along that crouch point by half an inch and then draw that back into the inseam on the inner leg of the back pattern i'm going to connect those points so we have a nice piece to work with and then cut out any excess pattern paper that I'm not going to be using and save the excess paper for another project in the future. Once I have these changes done on the back, I always like to test changes and patterns onto calico or any inexpensive material just to see that it going, it's going the way I want and it's a pattern that I can then use again in the future because I have an idea of how it fits on the body. To test out this adjustment I've just made on the pattern, I'm going to get some cheap calico fabric. You can use muslin or any cotton that you have, similar to your main material. And I'm just going to be cutting out the pattern onto that fabric. I ended up cutting both legs so I could show you guys what the fit is like, but you can just do it on one leg if you're trying to save fabric or you don't have that much material. So I'm just cutting out the front, the back. I transferred my notches for my darts and the connecting points. So I'm able to sew everything together and then try it on. So off camera, I have pinned the darts along the waist. So I've done this for the front and for the back. And I'm going to start off by actually stitching the darts away. Then I'm going to be joining off the front pieces together along that front crouch seam before going in to work on the side seam and then the inseam along the inner leg. 
sewing on a one centimeter seam allowance because that's what i added to my pattern i'm just going in here to sew these front pieces together so i have that ready to be joined to the back for the back i joined it halfway so i'm able to get in and out of the sample just to test the fit and now i'm just putting right sides together and i'm going to be sewing up the side seams so left and right and then i'm going to be sewing the inner or the inseam of the piece in this case it's a pair of shorts because it's not really a full pair of trousers so i'm going to stitch everything up give it a nice press and then try it on to see if the changes have been affected so from what you can see here it's not as tight along the crouch it's still a little bit loose but i love a comfortable fit on my trouser this is what it's looking like so far it doesn't have that tightness that it had when i made it initially so here's a comparison side by side before and after we added that addition along the crouch seam i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did let me know your thoughts down below and until next time have a good morning afternoon and evening wherever you are Bye.